I was looking for the Toyota Hilux. I just happened to be that I stumbled upon one that seemed to be very special. Right. And as a vehicle enthusiast, I couldn't take this vehicle and treat it like purely a work vehicle. I had to start restoring it and, and trying to bring it back to as good a condition as it could be. So it's a 1991 Toyota Hilux, 2.8 litre turbo diesel. Uh, but I think there were two other owners in St. Lucia before me. Right. Um, and they changed hands a, a couple of times and then, um, well, I bought it from the last owner who was, who was trying to sell it. But well, of course, you know, the, the new one is going to be more luxurious, more, more car-like, yes. more, more technology. Yes. For driving position, this is extremely comfortable. Um, it's actually more comfortable than not the new Hiluxes, because I've never driven the new Hilux, but I've driven new pickups. Yes. And I find the seating position in this and the, the ease with which you can turn the steering wheel and change gears is far more comfortable than any new pickup I've driven. Power-wise, well, I think, of course, this is something that would have a lot of torque and low-end power, as opposed to the acceleration and top-end speed that you'd find in a newer pickup. And although I do believe that um, Infini, when they set up the pickup with all the um, aftermarket components and stuff, mm -hmm. they were able to get performance out of it that mm. is probably never heard of or, or, or what you would not expect to get out of that, that model Hilux that year. Yeah. Yeah. The original owners told me it, it when it was in its prime, which I hope to get back to soon, it was as fast as one of the new pickups. I've done a lot of off-roading. Primarily one or two that I frequent, yeah. um, but I've put product in some places. Yeah, and I, I enjoy working on my own vehicles oh, as well too. Nice, so nice. Uh, it's not as much there's not as as much interest or or excitement or fun in working on an ordinary vehicle. Yeah, yeah. when you have something that has a lot of extra um, aftermarket stuff and, and things like that. It's a little bit more interesting from a hobby standpoint to work on something that's rare, a little bit modified and stuff like that. So the winch was actually installed in St. Lucia. It did not come from the Infini tuning shop with the winch on it. Um, I'm not sure if it had that entire front package the, with the, um, the bars and stuff, right? But it was installed here. I've used it many times. It has taken many vehicles out of tough oh, wow. situations. Yeah. I've had to use it once to pull myself out of a tough situation. One thing about these vehicles, which is why it's a keeper and, and, and interesting, is that these vehicles built in the 90s, it's at a point where materials technology, the manufacturers got the materials technology to a point where the materials were most heavy duty and most longest lasting. This is made to be heavy duty and so it's not as efficient fuel wise as new pickups but it is as efficient as an average car.